But, uh, how have you seen the sun grow? Just from the time you got here this summer to now? Oh, it's big. You know, it's been a huge step up. You know, he's, like Coach K was saying, he's kind of settled in. And obviously in the beginning, as if you love the game, you're going to be frustrated with how you're playing, kind of, you know, not shooting well and all that. But he just kind of stayed the course, been in the gym, kept getting better every day and taking it one step at a time. So a huge kudos to him. And I want to say one thing, shout out to my managers. I told them that I shot them out because I they call it National Managers Day or whatever. So huge shout out to those guys, man. Without them, we wouldn't be nothing, but go ahead. How, uh, how we played in so many matches. Uh, Sheesh. <laughs> Uh, is it easy to trust uh, um, I don't. I don't know. I mean, some. I guess you know. You know, normally, typically, see true freshmen playing almost thirty minutes a game. You know, I mean, I my freshman year, I got blessed of being able to work hard and be able to get out there. But you don't see that likely. In the, you don't see that happen in the MAC. So, I mean, as a coach, you, know, you kind of bring them in. You kind of let them grow and see you throw them in there a little bit here and there. But, I mean. Probably, Sonny's one of the best. You know, as Coach K was saying, he's come from a great tradition. I went to the best conference in the Midwest, but you know, he's prepared for this. He's ready for this, and that's what he showed tonight. So, what, what did you think of the way the second year you guys played Dre, uh, uh, Sam, Sam, Ben? Ben. Uh, it was huge. You know, that's what we asked for all um, all year. You know, since I've been here, the bench gives. Uh, everybody life, you know, when they can come in and you don't have to rely on your stars to, you know, you give the stars a uh, way to breathe and, you know, not have to worry about putting them back in so quick when the stars go out there and guard and defend and kind of hold it down until it's ready for, you know, to make subs, you know, it just makes it a lot easier. And one through however many played tonight, played well. I think we guarded for 38 minutes of the game, you know, even though they went on a stretch. Um, I was real confident and it was good. Obviously, we've seen Brady make big shots, Dante made big shots, you made big shots today, Sonny made big shots, James made big shots. How much of a benefit is it in crunch time knowing you've got several different guys who deliver what you need? Oh, it's huge. You know, you don't really see throughout the whole, out the country of you having more than four or five guys out there, maybe at once, that you can give the ball to at the end of the game. That's going to, you know, trust the ball. So, I mean, that a win like this is huge for everybody's confidence. But as Kay said, it's only us. We're not going to listen to outside noise. We're not going to get uh, big headed. We're not going to stay level headed and prepare for BG. It's a rivalry game. Um, like you said, K said, we're playing for something bigger than you. So. You mentioned Bowling Green. You've been all around this league. <laughs> Where would you slot the Toledo Bowling Green rivalry in terms of the other rivalries in the match? Being at NIU, we didn't have a rivalry. <laughs> we just didn't like anybody. Ball State, we just didn't like anybody. We just wanted to win. But Toledo, BG. It's something, you know, fans take this stuff serious. Teammate, team take this serious. I mean, it's right up the road. You know, obviously, you, it's a big game, and the beat beat them here. So now we're going to go take care of business 20 minutes up the road. That's what we're prepared for now. Did, did you guys feel disrespected when the preseason match pulled out and you were fourth? Um, yeah. I mean, Tudor has won this league how many years in a row? Three? I mean, you kind of, I would think it's unanimous, one or two. But I mean, losing Ray J. Dennis and JT Shoemaker, Seth, key contributors off the bench that's been here, kind of stable guys. I mean, it's hard to just automatically put Toledo at one or two or three, really, at that. So, but I mean, yeah, we've seen it. Kind of seems like Toledo kind of been down and out every year a little bit, and we find a way to shock the world, I should say. But I mean, we're not going to listen to that. We're just going to keep playing. Our finger out a way to play to the basketball. And we're playing, like you said, we're playing for something bigger and losing every game, but we're playing to be in the MAC championship in Cleveland on that Saturday night at 7 o'clock, winning, turn out to play, go dancing. So. Uh, same thing as uh, I mean, the last few weeks, kind of like the Northern Illinois game, I've seen play, elevate your game significantly in terms of just the way you guys play and the way you guys have been in college, getting what's kind of been the change? Uh, honestly, just staying uh, confident and being aggressive. And like Coach said, you know, just it's different, you know, coming from high school. You know, high school, I was kind of more of a scorer. So just having a conversation with him and just uh, telling me what he needs for the team, and I'm getting it done for him. How big a performance like this tonight? And, I mean, it's a spotlight game. You're playing the first place team, and you have career high points. 
steals just kind of all the way around. Um, what, what is he uh, You know, it's big, but you want to keep building as the season keeps going on. Uh, you know, we had the last stretch. You know, we want to prepare for the MAC tournament. But before we can do that, let's take care of business with these next couple games that we got. Were you frustrated at all, like December, January, with, with the way you played? I mean, you weren't playing bad or whatever, but you probably weren't playing the level you wanted to, I would assume. Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, I know what I'm capable of doing on the court each and every night. So just had to, you know, just sit to myself, you know, just, just know, think, you know, just stay confident and, you know, everything will take care of itself. Second half, you guys got a 15 point lead. You knew after would make a run. Does that show the maturity of this team that you guys didn't get frazzled and got a lead down to four? You're able to answer? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, when we play Appalachian State, you know, we kind of gave that game away. So we had that conversation like we can't give games away. And that was something big. So we wanted to capitalize every moment we can, you know, and take the lead off from there. Coach just said this three game stretch is your season. Two thirds of the way through, how confident are you guys going down the Bowling Green on Friday? You know, we're confident. Big rivalry game. We need our fans to come out there and support us. You know, we need it. Need everybody there. Go Rockets, baby. Well, first of all, I. What I said to John after the game, I truly believe. Number one, they got a great team. He's really he's a great coach. We're going to see him again in Cleveland. That, that, that game is going to be played on national TV on a Saturday night in Cleveland. And, you know, they, they, they beat us at our place. So it's, you know, become a great rivalry, the two best programs in the league. Um, you know, clearly tonight was about our defense. Uh, I thought we did a great job from start to finish defensively. Uh, <clears throat> You know, Enrique Freeman and Ali Ali are so hard to defend, and Trimble is so good off the dribble. Uh, I thought our defense was on point. Sonny was huge tonight. Big key, too, was nine turnovers. Uh, I thought to start the second half, we had a few too many, but overall, to walk out of there with, with, with nine turnovers was huge. And uh, yeah, now we got a big rivalry game on, on Friday. <clears throat> we need a lot of blue and gold down, down uh, in Bowling Green. What's uh, not just tonight, but the last two, three weeks? What, what have you seen that the He's just mature. And first of all, he, he's, he's come in defensive ready because he's, he comes from a winning program. And, in, and I, I know Tyler and Dante are going to disagree with this, but the best high school league in the Midwest, uh, which is tremendously well coached. Now, I'm not saying Detroit is, can compare with Chicago. You can't. Chicago is by far better. But just that league is unbelievable. And he comes from that league, and those point guards are tough in that league. And he's extremely well coached. Pat Donnelly is one of the best high school coaches, one of the best coaches overall you know, in the game. So he was college ready. Uh, you know, he's starting to understand shot selection. He's just gotten better and better. Um, how, I mean, what do you attribute his first? It's not like he played bad before, but was it just, you know, getting a true freshman and playing good for college basketball? I think he, I think his biggest improvement is when he touches the ball, he understands he doesn't have to shoot and score. That he can get, he can settle our teammates up. Well, he was playing the game. Shot clock winds down. We trust each other. He finds Javen at the end. That to me might have been the game winning play. How, uh, how how do you think the second unit was tonight? I mean, oh. they, they extended the lead in the first half. Of their career. Look at their plus minus. Yeah, I think Dre was plus nine at halftime, <clears throat> and I that was my, my uh, on my, my my game notes and thoughts that I had before the game was Todd and staff. We have to trust our bench. Uh, you know, against Ohio, you you know, G got G's been hurt, and that was probably a bad matchup for Ben. Guarding the you know one of the best three point shooters their center at Ohio U tonight we needed Ben to play and tonight he, he performed for us now if he made his foul shots I feel better about it but he finally is is stepped up and we needed him in that first half struggling scored early on where he three or three behind the arc big of push was that to get somebody hitting behind the arc yeah it was good for his confidence I, I thought maybe we settled a little bit too much too early uh, we didn't trust. Our, our, our emotional offense. Uh, I don't know if they were bad threes, but there were a lot of them. 10 of our first 14 shots were from three. Uh, and we just never quite trusted our, our flow. And once we trusted that better, we were a little bit better offensively. You mentioned Bowling Green on Friday night. How do you manage the emotions over the next 
72 hours. A high coming up and now another big game on Friday night. Oh, we said before the seven days, this is, this is our season. It's going to define what we are. We're two-thirds of the way through. So we got a rivalry game. And it's, you're in a championship hunt. We're playing for a lot. Uh, our guys will be humble. They'll be hungry. They won't, uh, you know, they'll get their rest. They'll be smart. And, and as a staff, we'll, we'll prepare them the best we can. Jaden uh, was helped in the single digits tonight scoring, but I mean, six assists, three steals. But he can contribute in another way. Yeah, and his, I thought it was what we call high and loose. Our, his, his post defense was, was phenomenal. Uh, Kept you know Freeman off off balance a little bit. That was helpful. Anything else? Well, in five games left in the regular season, I prefer some of that. Uh, well, what's kind of the, the emotion of reaction? I, mean, I know you expected and you were going to surprise people this year, but when it comes to reality, what was kind of your thought? Uh, I would say at this point in time, zero thought. Zero thought. Just just. Put her head down, uh, avoid the noise, not listen to outside people. Uh, only us, just that core group of players and managers and coaches. That's it. Just listen to that and stay together.